I believe our very lives are a matter of stewardship. The way that we use what we have matters to the one who made us. He intended for us to manage this life and all that comes with it. This is a podcast to connect the dots of all the ways we manage the substance of our lives, from heart work to housework, from relationships to identity, from purpose to desires, wellness, creativity, and everything that makes up our lives. This is a sisterhood centered on Christ. On this podcast, I'll be sharing thoughts and transparent talks on what God is teaching me as I wear these different hats and manage various things just like you do, only differently in my own style for his glory. Listen in. Your life matters and what you do with your life matters too. That is the tagline that I put on um, my newer site. Um, I had to do a little bit of um, some cosmetic work on my site and some tech work on the back end. And it's starting to look the way that I would like it to. But anyways, if you haven't checked it out yet, it's styleandstewardship.com. There's always going to be a link to it in the show notes, but you can go ahead and check it out. Tell me what you think. Tell me if it's easy to navigate. But moving forward, um, welcome to episode 10 of the Style and Stewardship podcast. We are in the month of February, which is crazy to me because I feel like I just did an episode in January and then I look back and I thought, oh, actually, (laughs) um, January's done. Like it seems like it just came and it went. I hope you are doing well wherever you are. I hope your family and you yourself um, are in good health. Um, there's so much that we can just we can just sit with about 2020. Um, but we're not going to keep talking about 2020. 2021 is right in front of us, and we're going to walk into that with bold boldness. And what I've been praying for has been just um, just clarity, and for you know some of the burdens. The thing with that I'm learning with burdens is some of the burdens you know come with this life, and there are some burdens that come from the enemy, and it feels very very different. And then there are burdens that God allows us to have for other people. And those burdens that we cannot bear on our own, we're able to, you know, go to God and and pray and ask him to basically we we intercede. You know, we ask God to, you know, bring healing to people, um, to bring resolutions to their issues, to draw them closer, to save them. Um, You know, we pray for a myriad of things and God tells us to come to him with all of those things. So you know, going into 2021, I've, I've been praying for myself. I've been praying for the direction of, um, the podcast and just not necessarily the direction. I know where it's going. I, I know this is, I mean, everything's about stewardship and that's just the heart and the intention behind everything that I do here. Um, because it is a personal, um, goal. It's a personal journey. And I believe that if you are a believer, it's also yours. So, that's what we're talking about on this episode. What is stewardship? What does that mean? Um, how do we steward what we've been given? And I end up, you know, in every episode with, you know, what will you steward well today? And that's the question for every single believer. Um, this is not my opinion. <laughs> um, and I'll tell you why I arrived at this place of just you know, it, it started as a burden, um, as a question and then as a burden and, and a conviction, a really strong conviction where I could not shake and I could not get away from this word. And it's, it's funny because this has already had an iteration. It didn't start as style and stewardship. Stewardship was in the name before, but it, it actually started with, um, a different name. I'm not going to share that because I'm still going to do something with that. <laughs> um, I still have that domain. So it it was, it was a message that I didn't hear a lot. It wasn't a message that I heard someone say. And then I was like, oh, I need to just make a website about that. And oh, I need to, it didn't start like that at all. The word popped up and it was one that I, I literally, I couldn't get away from it. It just kept popping up in scripture. It popped up in sermons and in different ways. And I started as I often do is just mulling over. What does that mean? You know, what does it really mean? So when we hear stewardship, we think about 
you know, if you've been any part of in any part of a, a Christian circle, or if you've gone to church, or if you've listened to some sermons on stewardship itself, many times um, it comes back to money, and I think that that's part of it. You know, um, but I'm not arguing, but I would argue that it's way more than that. And it's so funny because um, my um, my pastor actually did a, an entire series on stewardship um, at the top of the year. And I thought it was so funny because I was like, God, you really <laughs> like you, you just got this word um, and you want me to do something with it. So my the first thing that I want to do is encourage you if there is a word that continues to come up for you and it's kind of woven throughout different things that you may hear or encounter say it's in scripture it's in a sermon that you hear you know you look back on an old journal entry and it's in there or you scribbled some notes down the last time you were in church and it's there um or even in in, you know other areas and you might hear this word or phrase sit with that word sit with it and pray about it and ask God, like, what, what does this mean? You know, and, and start allowing God to take you, um, into a deeper meaning of, because I truly believe it's the Holy spirit. You know, if this is a God thing, it's a God thing. You know what I mean? So stewardship is not something that you even hear in secular areas. You know, maybe you, you've heard of the word, but the connotation is management. The The meaning of it is management, but it's not just management. It's managing what you have for God. So we can talk about money and that's very specific. And scripture talks a lot about money. And, you know, it says, you know, where your treasure is, there your heart is also. And there's a lot of references to money, but there's a lot of references to money simply because money is, you know, one of the ways that we, we live, you know, it's currency. It's the way that we live our lives, but let's think about it more like currency than, you know, a paper bill, which I mean, who really uses those anymore? Um, we're more like we're, we're all using, you know, a debit card or people use Bitcoin. I don't even know what that's about. Like not even getting involved with that side note, but you know, we need to look at it more so of a resource and of currency, you know, something that flows, something that is used to facilitate something else. So when we think about, you know, us getting paid or us getting money, that is just a representation of a a value that we have that we can now use in exchange for something else, for a service, for a product, for something tangible and or intangible. So when we talk about stewardship, even if we just left it at money, it would still mean more than just money. Does that make sense? So everything that you have, everything that you've been given, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ and you believe that he died to pay a debt you could never pay and rose again and is seated in heaven with the father and sent the Holy Spirit you know, um, as our counselor that we are sealed with when we get saved. If you believe all of that, you also believe all the other scriptures that say, you know, it is no longer I that live, but Christ lives in me. You know, death is died and we put away those things. Um, and it just, I'm not going to get into that because I'll go down a whole different path if I do that. The point of the matter is it it can be all summed up with you were bought with a price, right? So you're not, you're no longer your own. And if you're no longer your own, what does that mean? It means that you belong to someone else. And when we look at stewardship, it's basically defined as you are a steward. You have been entrusted or given something that belongs to someone else. Um, So whether that's a resource, um, when you go to a job, when you report to a job, you are a steward in that company. There's a, there are certain things that you are expected to do in that company in order to what? To have the value that you have, right? There is a number placed on, um, you know, what your the value of your work is worth or what that company is willing to pay. So Jesus paid it all, <laughs> it all, period. It is finished. 
So when we look at stewardship like that, we can no longer look at it as just money. We can no longer look at it as, um, this thing that we just give God, you know, some of, you know, we'll give him 10%, we'll give him some of our tithe, but God tells us to give time, to give energy resources. So any resource, so we'll just, we'll liken that to currency. Any resource that you have is currency that can be used for the kingdom. So you're a steward now, style and stewardship. Where did that come from? So that came from the fact that we're all given a different amount. We're all given varying degrees of um, talents, gifts. We're all someplace different or in different circles in different communities. And all of these things, there's a different weight. It all has the same value. We're all valuable to God. But we show up with different gifts, different talents, different abilities that can be used as currency in the kingdom. So some of us speak, some of us teach, some of us write, some of us build, some of us, you know, um, we all create something and we're all doing that with what? With something we have been given, talent, resources. So for me, when I think of stewardship, it's currency, it's this circular never ending, (laughs) um, just call to manage what God has given us, every resource that he's given us in a way that brings honor and glory to him in our own way, AKA style. That's where all of this comes from. What I also believe in about that is the fact that nothing is left out. God hasn't left anything out of stewardship. God hasn't left anything out of us managing things in a way that he wants us to manage things. And how do we do that? We do that by knowing God, by reading our word, by sitting at Jesus's feet, by praying and asking God to lead us in different ways, because we are all dealing with different circumstances. We're all in different areas of our lives. That is style and stewardship. So what we're going to be talking about um, on the podcast and on the blog and on the YouTube channel, we're going to be talking about all the ways that we can manage things well for God and the way that we can manage things in a way that only we can do. That's a big deal. So I believe stewardship is a calling that every Christian is called to. I believe that it's way more than money. I believe that it is the currency of the kingdom. It's the intention behind the currency of the kingdom. So what we have, the life that we have that's been bought with a price, it means something, right? It means something. I I feel like I got to say that a couple of times because... This is not, we can't do business as usual. We can't live life like everybody else. We are called to something greater. We are called because we're called to the one who owns everything. And we're going to have to give an account for the way that we spend that. So money is literally just currency. It's just a resource And if it, before we had, you know, that kind of money, you know, they bartered, you know, but it was giving something of value in exchange for something else that was valuable. And in order for that to, that cycle to continue, it was an ongoing process. I'm a word picture person. So I hope that, that, (laughs) that worked for someone, um, So going forward with the podcast, we are going to be talking about all the lifestyle things. So we are managing our lifestyles, you know, um, for God and in a way that brings glory to him in a way that appreciates the resources that he's given us and in a way that um, blesses people around us and edifies them. So we talk about, you know, edification in the body and, you know, God giving us different gifts for that reason. 
Um, our gifts are supposed to be used to edify the body and our gifts are supposed to be used in the world because why it brings glory to God. When we do what we were created to do, I believe we bring glory to God we're, because we're essentially living, living to the standard that was placed on us to live in a manner worthy of whatever we've been called to do. So I'm going to stop it right there because there's so much more that can be said, but each and every episode we're, that's what we're doing. We're looking at different ways that we steward things, our mindsets, you know, (laughs) wow, that's going to be a whole um, episode in itself, probably a series, our hearts, our wallets, our time, our energy, our efforts, um, our bodies. So we're going to be talking about it all. And we're all going to do it differently. But I believe that, you know, just a community around the fact that we know that we are called to live a certain way and to manage things for God. That's a powerful thing. So if you, we're going to talk about relationships, we're going to talk about, I don't see anything that we can't talk about (laughs) because I don't think anything is outside um, stewardship. So if you have any ideas, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to me. Hello at styleandstewardship.com. Um, you can find me on Instagram if you want to send me a message. Um, I check all of my emails. I respond to all my DMs. Um, and we just, we're just going to go forward and just, we're just going to, I love the, the term unpack. <laughs> we're going to unpack, um, you know, what stewardship means for you and your um, particular, you know, talent and, um, and ability. And I'm, I'm excited to, you know, continue on this journey, which I believe is like my life's journey of stewarding things well for his glory, right? So thank you for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed it, please do um, leave me a comment. Um, You can rate the podcast. Um, if you're on um, iTunes or Cast Castbox or um, Anchor, Spotify, I'm trying to think, Google Podcast, iTunes, um, you can please let me know how I'm doing here because I would love to know if this is impacting you. Um, but until next time, what were you? What will you steward well? <laughs>